is our lovely new spare tire. It's kind of a work in progress, but uh, we'll have a tire at some point soon. After about a week in Poplarville, in and out of New Orleans, we're back on the road. Our first stop as we head north is to this town called Rocky Springs, which was once a thriving community in the 1790s, but is now completely abandoned and is a free campsite. Um, I think there's kind of like a creepy looking church tucked inside of here. We're gonna go hiking and see what we can find. Safe, sitting in the middle of the woods. Pretty random. Certified ghost town material. We also just realized that this place is swarming with ticks. I just pulled like three ticks off my own legs. Ah, so this is gonna be a quick tour. Take it back, I don't think this church is abandoned at all. It seems to be fully functional. And lots of ticks. That might be the fastest I've ever explored something. Seems super cool. Abandoned town, old relics, lots of bugs. You have been warned. We stayed last night at the Cuba, Alabama rest stop. It was, it was all right. We popped up the top of the van, and when we woke up this morning, we realized that there's like 30 18-wheeler trucks parked off to the side of us. I always wondered who stayed at these rest areas. No other like RV camper pop-up buses like us, but people who totally know that you can stay here for free, and there's a 24-7 staffed bathroom. Pretty good deal. We made it to Selma. It's 85 degrees, but feels like 100. We're gonna walk over the bridge. And that's the bridge in Selma. It's just getting to stand in these historically significant places. Just feel really fortunate. Well, it's the morning after. What just happened? So we pulled into this vineyard in rural Alabama. And they gave us a wine tasting, all the standard harvest host stuff. But then we were invited to his like shed, honey and brandy. Three or four shots of that later. Just straight brandy, moonshiny shots. How many shots of alcohol did you take tonight? <sighs> I definitely feel a little crusty. Stormed all night. It's kind of like white noise. No. Not like white noise at all. Bye, puppy. You were a good host. Just made it into Birmingham. We're headed down to a river near Woodstock to do some swimming. Um, no idea what to expect.
This is one of the nerdiest things we've done. We've been listening to that podcast, uh, S-Town. It's this really fascinating story about a guy from Woodstock, Alabama named John B. McLemore. And well, without giving the story away, his house is here and the maze that he talks about is behind said house. So we figured, Did it, we flew, we did not get caught yet. Onwards to the next part of the adventure. We learned pretty early in this trip that for every day of driving, you need at least a day off to do administrative stuff, run errands, get tasks done. So we're here in Birmingham, day two, trying to get some automotive servicing done on Wolfie. There's a website called Roadhouse. It tells you where the mechanics are who specialize in VW repairs. And we found a shop called Eurasian, who referred us to another shop that wouldn't even speak to us uh, because they were scared of Vanigans. So fuck those guys. And we went back to Eurasian, who specializes in Porsches. And they were like, sure, we'll take care of you. We officially have a spare tire. It's gotta be some kind of accomplishment. Check it out. Bam, ba, da, da, bam, bam. Overall, we got a clean bill of health. They mentioned that our rear axles are slinging a little bit of grease on the outer boots. So we'll probably need to get that replaced or repaired when we get to California. And some of the other things required parts to be ordered. Uh, so we'll just deal with all that stuff when we get to the West Coast. It's a new driver on this bus. Clyco, what are you doing? Birmingham, thank you. It's been real, educational, tasty. But now we must leave you. Next stop. <laughs>